I can assure you, you do not need your wallet anywhere near you for this video. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you, it is nice to see you, and welcome to the corner. All of the time, I have so many of you telling me that when you watch my cozy game list videos, you love them, but your bank does not love them. And while I don't mind paying for a good game, I know how fast those costs can add up, especially if you're like me and you are an avid gamer and you wanna try all of the games. Well, in today's video, I have brought to you another cozy gaming list, but this one is going to include entirely free games. And these games are not demos. In the past, I have made videos on free games you can play, as they are demos that you can try before you make a full purchase, or they're demos for games that will be coming out later. These games are full games, and they are entirely free. And today's list is going to include games for both Nintendo Switch and for PC. Before we get into today's video, please be sure to click the lovely little like button, as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content, as well as if you're interested in seeing me play Cozy Games live, I stream right on this YouTube channel three times a week. And if you're coming to the live stream from this video, please be sure to say hi. We would love to see you. Okay, I will shut up. Let's get into the games. The first game on the list is for Nintendo Switch, and this game is called Pokemon Cafe Remix. In Pokemon Cafe Remix, you'll link together Pokemon icons to clear different puzzles as you work to build up your very own adorable Pokemon Cafe. In the game, you'll recruit different Pokemon to help out at the cafe, and they even get to wear super adorable uniforms. And you'll do this by building friendships with them and along the way, expanding your cafe and expanding your cafe menu. And you'll do all of this through completing various different puzzles. You'll have to strategize the best way to clear Pokemon icons within the turn limit in adorable yet actually challenging puzzles. You'll use your skills to complete the objective and employ the help of every Pokemon cafe's skills for some extra bonuses. As you get further in the game, the puzzles will get more difficult, you'll meet more Pokemon, and you'll be able to upgrade and revamp your cafe however you like. I think Pokemon Cafe Remix is not only great because it is a free game, but it's this free kind of puzzle style. You, this is a mobile game too. You actually can play this on mobile, but it's also on Switch. It's giving a little bit of the mobile game kind of feeling with the puzzles you need to solve, but it's making them a little bit more intricate and taking the classic Pokemon characters and giving them more of a cutesy cozy style. I definitely consider the Pokemon games cozy games. I know not everyone might, but if you're like me and you're newer to Pokemon, but you kind of favor a more cutesy cozy aesthetic, this might be a good one to try out because you will still get the experience of seeing the Pokemon, getting their specialty abilities, but using them in a little Little bit more chill of a sense where you're doing puzzles rather than doing crazy battles. I also really like that the cafe will keep expanding as you get further and further in the game. And they actually remixed this game recently to add more puzzles, make it a little bit more intricate, and to add even more new Pokemon. I think this game is great if you like Pokemon, if you like puzzles, and if you want a relaxing time, but a relaxing time where you also need to think. The next game on the list is probably the most chill game I've ever seen in my life. The next game on the list is for PC, and this game is called Chill Corner. Chill Corner is probably one of the most casual, relaxing simulation games you'll see. It is just an idle game for chilling, relaxing, or even helping you gain some more focus in your life. The game will feature beautiful rooms with chilling atmosphere and weather that are completely customizable to you, as well as amazing lo-fi and acoustic and even other genre of music soundtracks for you to chill, relax, or get some work done. Not only will you be able to decorate your own room, Room, but you'll also be able to customize your character and the pets you have in the game. You'll have the ability to create your own tasks in the game in case you want to use it as a way to get some work done, or you can take a rest by doing in-game quests. You'll also have the ability to create your own lo-fi playlists that'll fit whatever mood you need it to be. Chill Corner is exactly what the name says. It is a corner in which you can look at the stunning visuals, relax, and mainly just chill out. So this game is really interesting. Interesting. When I was curating this list, I noticed a lot of laid, laid back cozy games. Now, I definitely like a laid back cozy game. However, I do normally play a lot of 
Cozy games that have a lot going on, like farming sim games or, or decorating games that are super intricate, this one really is the epitome of cozy gaming. It is a relaxing, kind of like atmosphere. It's kind of like a relaxing atmosphere rather than just a game. Sure, you can do things in the game like do different quests, make different playlists, but mainly you can kind of curate this game for yourself. It can help you set goals for your day and it can give you just something nice to unwind to. And it can give you just something nice to interact with lightly and mainly just unwind and have a good time. The next game on the list is also a PC game, and I think I'm saying this right, but this game is called Viridi. In Viridi, you'll get to nurture a small pot of succulents that grow in real time. The game is meant to be a place you can return to either for a moment of peace and quiet whenever you need it, or you can keep it on in the background as you do your other tasks in your day. The game will feature tons of different plants that you can put in your pot, as well as you may even see an adorable snail come by to check out your plants. Viridi, just like Chill Corner, is yet another relaxing, atmospheric type game. But this is one that'll help you create more of a daily routine. I definitely struggle with being a little overwhelmed all of the time. And so it's nice for me to have something constant that I can do every day. And something like this is great for people like me who can't keep plants alive in real life, whether that's because you're not talented at keeping plants alive like I am, or also your environment isn't suiting many types of plants. This one is really nice because it's like you get to watch your plants grow in real time. It's relaxing. It's something to check in every day. Another game that's not super high stakes, just cozy vibes. The next game on the list is available for both Nintendo Switch and for PC, and I've already talked about this game before and played it on the channel, so you know I love it so much. But this game is called Trey Racers. Trey Racers is a racing game set in a vibrant post-apocalyptic world. Armed with nothing but your trusty Trey, you play as a ragtag kid speedster. In the game, you'll get to race either solo or up to 16 players through a wacky playground of randomly generated sand dunes, cute critters, adorable bouncy cacti forests, and even more. You'll also have the ability to customize your character however you want so you can ride in style. I already made an entire review video that featured Trey Racers in it, but I feel like Trey Racers is such a great free game. It is a cozy racing game, but I feel like it gives it a nice little twist with the environment that you're in. Something I really like specifically about Trey Racers is before the match, you actually get a couple minutes of practice time with each round. And I think what's so nice about that is the rounds are quite difficult with like ginormous cacti you need to navigate around. And before you take on all your friends and destroy them, you want a little bit of practice time with the round. So I like that they include that. The customizations in the game are super cute and also very inclusive, which I love to see. As, as a whole, I think racing games are always fun to play, especially with your friends. But I feel like, honestly, don't justify paying so, so much for a racing game. Maybe that's just me. I really love that Trey Racers is free because I feel like it has just enough content and we're getting it at a free price. The next game on the list is a game for people PC, and this one is actually a co-op game. This one is called With You. With You is a cooperative two-player puzzle game. You'll get to play through short, wordless levels. With You will tell the story of two characters who meet and grow closer to each other as they explore the world together. By completing physics and platform challenges through a series of coordinated actions, trust falls, and collaborative problem solving. I love a cozy co-op game. Do I have people to play them with me? No, absolutely not. But I really love co-op games, especially games like this where it's a puzzle and each character kind of has to do something to come together. This one focuses a lot on connecting and intimacy. They say this one is really great for couples to help kind of bond and work together, but I think this one can be played with any type of two people who have some kind of relationship, either friends, family, whatever. It's really simple. It's a puzzle game for two people that's super cute and it is free. The next game on the list is one for both Nintendo Switch and for PC. I have played and lost a lot of this game. This game is called Fall Guys. 
Fall Guys is a cross-platform, massively multiplayer party royale game where you and your fellow contestants compete through escalating rounds of absurd obstacle course chaos until one lucky victor remains. In Fall Guys, there are tons of levels to face, some of which will have you stay on a platform the longest compared to your friends, and some will just have you race to the end of a super tricky obstacle course. But now, with the newest update to Fall Guys, there is also a creative construction mode where you'll get to make your own levels and have your friends compete in them. That being said, you'll also have the opportunity to compete and play in courses created by other people online. Whether you want to make your own courses, play your friends' courses, or play the courses that already come with the game, Fall Guys is sure to be a fun time regardless. Now listen, I've played a lot of Fall Guys, specifically with my live stream community, I am bad at it. I lose in the first round and then I just have to sit here and cheer on my lovely viewers that are way better than me. And Fall Guys itself I think is fun, I think it's cute, but I really like that they've added in this creative mode. I think it adds such a better, deeper level to the game because quite frankly, I feel like Fall Guys has been out for a while. I feel like I've played all the matches by now. I've played all the matches, you always get the same ones over and over again. They're definitely still fun, but with a game like this, it's like a platformer battle royale style, it can get a little boring to keep playing the same rounds all the time. So the fact that they have added in the ability to create your own levels adds an infinite amount more fun because not only can you yourself work your creative muscles and make your own levels, but you can see what other people are up to. And that way the game is always changing and always evolving. I love that they've added this in. I feel like this one is a really fun one to check out either by yourself playing with online people or if you have a group of friends willing to play with you. The next game on the list is out for Nintendo Switch, but it's actually coming to PC soon. This is definitely one of the biggest games on the list. And this game is called Sky, Children of the Light. Sky Children of the Light is a cozy and peaceful MMO game. In the game, lost ancestor spirits will guide you through a peaceful kingdom and all of its seven realms. Your mission is to return them to the stars. To do so, you'll need compassion, courage, and a sense of wonder. The game will feature a friendly, open world that is ever expanding with exciting upcoming attractions, seasonal events, and even realm expansions. You'll get to embark on the quests in the game with your friends, as well as you'll have the ability to personalize your own character with customizable clothing, hair, and more. And some of the events in this game are crazy. They've even done online concerts before, and the game is always being filled with updates, so it's ever-changing. Now, Sky Children of the Light, I have heard so, so many amazing, amazing things about. And when I first saw the trailer and footage of Sky, I did not think it was a free game because it looks so very involved. And honestly, a lot of the time with free games, the games don't have a significant amount of content. Normally, they're simpler, shorter, more relaxing. This one seems like there is so, so much going on. This is an MMO game where there is an entire online universe. And what's really cool about Sky, other than the universe in the game, going to do the quests, exploring, is they do so many events. Like they've done virtual concerts before. And it seems like it is a huge community that is always getting updates and new things to it. I'm really excited that this one is coming to PC. I'm kind of starting to go from a mainly Switch player to a mainly PC player on Honestly, now that I have my Steam Deck, but I think this is going to be so great for Sky because it's going to make the world even bigger. It's going to bring the game to such a larger base of players. And because of that, I feel like the events are going to get even better. There's going to be so much more stuff in the game, and I'm really excited about that. And the final game on the list is a game for PC, and this is one of the biggest cozy games ever. You probably already know what it is, but this game is called The Sims 4. The Sims 4 is, of course, your quintessential Sim game. The base game of The Sims is free, and in the base game, you'll get to unleash your imagination and create a unique world of Sims that's an expression of you. In the game, you can choose every single aspect of your Sims life, how they look, 
how they act, how they dress, and you'll decide how they live out each day. You can be as simple or as crazy intricate as you want with your characters, or you could also focus on building and designing. There are so many furniture choices and ways to build buildings in this game to totally make it your own aesthetic. You'll be able to manage your sim and tell whatever stories you please. Whether you want to be simple or chaotic, The Sims is one of the most customizable games there is, and even though there are tons of paid packs, the base game does still have a lot to explore, especially if you've never played The Sims before. Now, obviously there are tons of other Sim games. This is just the most recent one and quite honestly, the only one I've played. So that's why I'm recommending this one. The base game of The Sims is absolutely free, but there are tons of really fun extra bonus packs you can get. I personally have not purchased any of the fun bonus packs. When I started playing The Sims specifically on livestream, everyone was already so excited to tell me about all of the other things I could buy. But I really wanted to take my time to explore what the free base game had to offer before jumping into making purchases for a game I wasn't even sure if it was my style. And I think the base game of Sims does have a lot you can do. Specifically, if you're like me and you're kind of not interested in the, you know, story building managing part and you're mainly interested in designing and decorating, I found that the base decorations in the game were more than enough. Sure, if you want to get even more intricate, there are definitely ways to do so. But I think the base game alone is a super fun way to build and explore, be creative. And if you are into the management style, creating stories with your sim, Obviously, you can do that as well. Regardless, I think the base game of The Sims has a lot of fun in it already. And there you guys have it. Those were some free cozy games for both Nintendo Switch and for PC. I want to know your thoughts down below. What is your favorite free to play game? And what am I missing? Obviously, these are just a few. I want to hear your opinions. Give us the details on all the free games. Please be sure to click the lovely little like button on your way out, as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.